What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. So today we're gonna to be talking about a fun one. It's 10 red flags to watch out for. I'd say basically if you find one of these tendencies in a girl that you're dating or a girl that you've started seeing, I would be very concerned about the relationship. Now it's normal for one of these to come up every once in a while. But if you're seeing this consistently, I would definitely have a sit down with yourself and ask yourself, do I really wanna be seeing this person? Again, I have said this again and again on my channel, which is put yourself first. It's not about whether she likes you or not, it's about whether she's a good fit for you and your life. And if she's doing one of these things, I guarantee you there's gonna be somebody else who's a better fit for you. Okay, so let's get into the list. Number one. She has no female friends. I have seen plenty of women with this. By the way, I've dated every single girl on this list, okay? Uh, if she has no female friends, what that means, and especially this woman has a lot of male friends around her. Like, you'll see this girl, no female friends, but she's got tons of guys who are, you know, who are hanging around her all the time, okay? Basically, what this means, and this is gonna sound kinda crass, I know I'm gonna get some flack for this, but a lot of times, not every time, but what this means is that people don't really like her, okay? <laughs> These guys, they're kind of like beta orbiters or whatever you want to call them. Um, she teases or they think there's some chance of having any romance with her or something like that. That's why they're around her, because they kind of like her. Um, but as a person, women have acknowledged that she is not somebody that they want to be around. So if you see a girl or you're dating someone and all of her friends are guys or she has literally no female friends, you have to ask yourself, is there a reason for this? Is she living on a, is she stranded in the middle of a desert island? If she is, okay, it's understandable that she has no friends, but if she isn't, <laughs> might be time to reflect on that. Number two, she talks badly about her ex-boyfriends. I think it's normal maybe to bring up an ex-boyfriend every once in a while, but if she's talking, if she only brings up bad things about them or is talking about her ex-boyfriends a lot or one particular ex-boyfriend a lot, that's not a good sign, okay? It probably means they're still thinking about them and it probably means that you're gonna end up as one of those ex-boyfriends that she's talking badly about, okay? Now, I've seen a lot of women, they come to the next boyfriend thinking that boyfriend's gonna be better. Oh, I, I'm different, I'm, I'm different than that person. Dude, <laughs> I've been in scenarios where I've dated a girl, yeah, that guy was a total dick or that guy was an asshole. And I remember, I was at this girl's place and we had just slept together and she like the guy was like literally taking his stuff out of the apartment and he's got like this box or whatever and he looks at me and he's like good luck man <laughs> like, and I remember like I was with her for two weeks before he had said that to me I thought nah I'm different than all these other guys she's gonna have she's gonna have a great time with me a week and a half in, I was like, that guy is absolutely right. I got to get the hell out of this. <laughs> so watch out for that. Okay. Thing three, she gets super into you super quickly. All right. This is the girl where you meet and within two days, it's like the passion is super strong and you think, wow, man, this girl's into me. I've never had this before. This is incredible. It's exciting to be with that kind of girl. Okay. Let me tell you a little secret. She's crazy. <laughs> If a girl gets into you way too fast, you have to ask yourself why she's doing this, okay? If she's known you for two days and she's already talking to you about you, to all of her friends and saying how amazing you are and she's talking to you constantly and she wants to have sex with you all the time, that's really cool, but guess what? You just took a first train into crazy town. And the reason why is because she has invented you and turned you into this person that you're probably not. Okay, it's very difficult to say someone's an amazing or the perfect person for you within a couple days of meeting them. Okay, it takes a little bit longer. So pay attention to how quickly she's getting into you. If she's getting into you super quickly, I would not want to be with that person. Number four, she's hot and cold. Sometimes she's super into you. Sometimes she's borderline ghosting you. Okay, this is not an exemplary behavior of someone who is going to be a good match for you. Okay, you want a little bit more consistently with that consistency with that. Yes, it's natural for women to be interested in guy and then, you know, I don't not be so sure. Okay. Women's emotions, they, they go up and down. Okay. They, they deal with a lot of stuff with their body, with their hormones and things like that. And you know, they can be dealing with some stuff. So it's okay for that to happen naturally. But if there are times where she's texting you like all day and she's super excited to meet up with you and other times where days that you can't get hold of her, like you should really think about whether you want to deal with that because either she's talking to another dude or well not talking to another she's seeing another dude and really interested in another guy and you're kind of like 
when that guy is ignoring her, then she starts talking to you. Or she's just a crazy person and you're gonna be dealing with this your whole life. Five, never admits fault or wrongdoing. This is something that women, and then the classic argument between women and men is that, you know, men, women never admit when they're wrong or the women are never wrong. That's the other thing. Um, but I would say that if you're in a discussion and she refuses to compromise about things, like you have to adhere to these rules. And if you don't, then we can't be in a relationship. Um, <laughs> they say in Star Wars, a Sith never deals in absolute. <laughs> That's a funny line. Uh, you don't want to be with people that treat things as black and white as well, too. So th there should be some uh, compromise. There should be some, um, she should come to you a little bit, okay, when there's a disagreement. Typically, when two people have a problem with each other, it's not just only one person's fault. And if she will refuse to acknowledge that she is... Uh, you know, if you both are uh, in, an, in a relationship and she's not willing to accept her part of the equation, um, that's a huge problem. And I would definitely be very wary of that. But also, too, if she is willing to admit part of her problem, then you have to be willing to admit that the problem is part of you as well, too. So um, there has to be some compromise on both of yours. But if you've compromised a lot and she has refused to, that's a big red flag. Number six, she has no goals or hobbies. Now, I acknowledge the fact that, you know, for most of the women in my life, um, I don't know if they've been as ambitious as me, and that's okay. I really like ambition in a woman, but if she has no hobbies, uh, that's a big problem. Like, she literally does nothing. She's probably not going to be a good person for, for a relationship. And by the way, if you just want to hook up with this person, that's totally fine. I've, like I said, I've hooked up with all of these women and had, you know, even though like, <laughs> some of them got a little crazy, I've had special moments with all of them. Um, but if she, like, is literally just a do-nothing girl, I, I really think that that's a red flag. You know, she has to be interested in something because if she's interested in nothing and you become the only thing that she's interested in, holy cow, that is going to ruin your life. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure she has other things going on for her besides the relationship or just Netflix or something like that. Um, th th those are important things. And if, she, if she's young, you know, maybe she's taking time to develop her interests. Encourage her to go out and try new things. But if she's not trying new things and still being a do-nothing girl, dude, you got to move on and find someone who does have interests. Seven, she doesn't know what she wants. Okay, if she doesn't know what she wants, um, it's probably not you. <laughs> Put it to you that way. Uh, women who are in this category, there are men that, you know, uh, oh, I need time to figure out my feelings. And they're like, oh, I'll just give her some space and have her figure it out. Dude, I've never been that guy. I've never been that guy. I am not. <sighs> this is going to sound mean, um, but it's true. I am not in the fixing women business. If they come with issues, problems, and they don't know what they want, and they haven't figured those things out themselves, uh, I'm not going to be guy, the guy to figure them out for them, okay? They got to figure that out for themselves, and if they can't, I'm not their paid therapist. I'm not their, uh, you know, I'm not there to psychoanalyze them. That's not me. And if you are that guy, well, expect to be kind of the needy, simpy boyfriend that, uh, that you, you see, you, we all make fun of, okay? Don't be in this business, all right? If she doesn't know what she wants, you should know what you want, and that should be a girl who knows what she wants. So find that girl. Number eight, I was having trouble wording this, but basically she shows a lot of man-hating behaviors. <laughs> I don't really know how else to say this, uh, but it's kind of the girl who, you know, is around like, I don't need no man for anything. And look, I, independence is sexy. I, 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 the girl that I'm dating right now, she's a very independent person. She's got her own business, but she acknowledges that she wants and in a certain sense that needs a little bit of masculinity and male attention in her life. And that's important because if you're not a part that's wanted, if you're a part that's constantly resented, um, and you see this with a lot of like, and this is not all of them, but like some like really hardcore feminist women, some like super, um, just like they think all men are X, Y, Z. If she says all, if she, if you hear things coming out of her mouth where all men are X, Y, Z, um, I'm not sure if, uh, unless it's a joke or unless she's not taking it very seriously, like I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny when people say stuff like that. You really got to watch out for it though. If it's coming from a place of hate, if it's coming from a place of negativity, okay, clearly this girl's got some issues. Clearly this girl's got some things going on that you aren't going to be fixed. And quite frankly, if you're with a woman who hates men, if you're with a woman who doesn't even want a man, then she doesn't get a man. And that man especially isn't going to be me. Number nine, she lies. Okay. 
I know this might not seem like a big deal. Listen, guys, everybody lies. I'm telling you right now. If you want your partner to tell you the truth 100% of the time, all the time, you're going to be sorely mistaken. Okay, you have to forgive people a little bit. But if she is deceiving for you, maybe she said, oh, I was just hanging out with my girlfriends. And then, oh, look, turns out she was hanging out with a lot of guys. <laughs> and one of those guys is a guy she used to date. Okay, that's a huge red flag. Okay, if you, she lied about that to you, I can guarantee you she's lying about other things to you. She's probably texting a bunch of guys you don't know about. You know, if it's the very beginning of the relationship, you know, that's not that bad. But if you got to acknowledge the fact that if she's lying to you about that stuff at the beginning, she's probably going to continue to lie to you about that stuff. Okay. So uh, yeah, pay attention if she's lying to you. And especially if you catch her on a lie and she refuses to accept responsibility for it and make some other excuse about it, then dude, find somebody else. Number 10. And this is the final one. She doesn't know anything about you. Okay. <laughs> I've made this mistake previous, like years ago, I would be sleeping or having sex with a girl and she would literally not remember what I did for work. <laughs> and it's not that hard to remember. I'm a dating coach. Like how many dating coaches does she know? Probably not that many. If she can't even remember that, chances are she doesn't care about my life. She doesn't care about anything. She's clearly just using it. Like I could be anybody. She just wants to have a guy who maybe seems important or maybe has the, my certain kind of look or has, you know, my game or whatever, or who is like, maybe some other girls want to sleep with me and she just wants it for the status or something like that. Okay. She's using you. This is not a good person for you to be with. You want someone that actually is interested in you, that remembers things that you tell them. And it's fine if they forget things every once in a while. I mean, that's totally okay. But if she doesn't remember anything about you, she doesn't even remember the basic things that you told her, things that are very important to you that you've repeated to her. Holy cow, dude, you got to find a girl who is going to remember that. And you deserve that in your life. The girls that I was telling you about, there was no chance that we were going to go anything beyond us just hooking up occasionally when we were drunk. Okay. For women like that, that I was actually going to care about, they'd have to care about me first too. Right. So. If you see any of these 10 things, you guys, I'm telling you, if you see them consistently, you got to find a girl who's not going to have these things. Have respect for yourself. You know, a lot of times I find that when guys fall into this trap, the reason why they're doing it is because they don't have a lot of, they don't think that they're good enough. They think that, oh, it's okay. I can deal with that. Or, oh, I won't be able to get a good, a girl as, as, uh, as hot as her or as good as her. Um, so I should put up with these things or, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, they are a big deal and you should deserve someone who doesn't have these things going on with them. And so, yeah, if you find these things, I, this is something that I help with my clients out a lot to be able to identify these things pretty quickly. So you're not wasting your time. And ultimately you want to put the right energy out there. You want to conduct your life in a way where you're attracting the right kinds of people in. It sounds crazy, but I really don't get that many of these girls that have these red flags going on. I used to get them all the time. I used to wonder why am I dating all these crazy girls? Why am I dating all these girls that make me life, my life like hell? It doesn't happen anymore. And it's because I conduct my life in the right way. And if you want to learn how to do that, I suggest that you reach out to somebody who knows what they're talking about and get coached by, it could be me or it'd be somebody else, or keep watching videos on my channel. You know, I'm, I cover this extensively. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there. Oh, 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 oh,